Welcome back everybody to some more Darksiders War Mastered Edition. Before we go on, I will show you what I got. Look at the Harvester. Invo. Death's legendary scythe devastates multiple enemies with large, large sweeping attacks. The Harvester also reaps more souls from fallen enemies. Yep, I farmed a little bit. I got the chest in... Uh, what's it called? The Griever area. And got this uh, scythe. Much cooler. Mm. Oh, such a good thing. Right, let's change it and... Yep, I look back on the video and it seems that the video is actually an hour long. When I just grabbed all the items that I forgot. And I still forgot an other item. An artifact. In the drowned pass. Oh well. Die, everybody! But oh well, it's actually something that was supposed to happen. Quote unquote. Then I at least have that done, all those things. Oh, look at that. And Portal, we can get a legendary enhancement because of it. But we don't have the thing we need. Wait, is it a big dude? It is. Oh no, you're not... Oh, already dying? Wait, there's no Chronomancer ability. Oh no, that... over there you see the portal over here? We have to use it to get up there, to get in Legendary Enhancement. When we get the Void Walker, we will come back here for it. I think we're almost near the, le the next area. Let me get these tools. And jump. Behind us there's an artifact. There we go. Return it to Fulgrim. I will... And let's move on, and let's get to the next area. Where, in, I think around end game, like, we will fight Uriel. Which is story related. And kill! Come on, dice. You can die. Oh, you can give some new attacks. If you walk a little bit too far ahead, then there will be. What the fuck? What's the bird that, that blocked my attack? I, I don't want to fight the enemies that are going to spawn right here with you guys attacking me from behind because we have some corrupted angels to fight. Not looking forward to it, but oh well. 
and I think over there, I think if I can show it, there, yeah, you can see already over there, in full and uh, fulgrim thing dangling around. Yeah, fulgrim is here as well. There we go. Some corrupted. I don't know. There's. A, 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 I don't get these angels. The the uh, the normal angels I get. Those are the good guys, etc. These ones I don't understand. Because why are they glowing greenish, cyanide? That's something I want to know. But and there's also the red variant. But I think those are the corrupted by the by the demons. These I don't know. I don't know why these look the way they do. The red ones I can understand. These I don't. These are the only ones I don't know why they are colored like this. I think over here. Come on. Grab the bloody ledge. A lifestone shard for us. And an artifact that we can get. And very easy to find Ar Arm Armageddon piece. It won't do much at the moment. Let's get a Vulgrim. So that we have a fast travel point towards here. Yep, thank you. Let me know if I can help you. I can now change between the scythe and the harvester, but I think I'm keeping the harvester mm -hmm. because it looks so See much better. So yeah, I, yeah, I upgraded the Tremor Punch to level 1, so I can actually use it. So everything, every move that I am able to use with all the weapons, I can. So I can upgrade Power Strike to level 4, or level 3. Are there only 3 levels? No, there are only 3. Hmm. Why am I confusing it with 4? I think because you have to buy it 4 times. Only alive, man. So... Maybe that's the reason. But I think... I have everything I at level you. 1. I might want to buy Bay. And, uh, I think one of the last two enhancements that we can get. One we will get pretty soon. This is the last one. Um, I think these four I want to buy. So that that's complete. The Shredder, the High Impact Rounds and... The Rev Shard. I don't know which one I will want to buy first, but I Please think the Shredder or the Bane. Because those are the most expensive ones. So. Greetings. Let's go. We have to go further into the level. Hmm. There are some more bats waiting for me here. Look at their face. It looks really awesome, to be honest. Wait. Oh, come on! I don't want to fight you! Oh, come on! There we go! 
Yeah! Come on, doggy! Come on, doggy! You can do it! Ooh, I got your horn! Wait! Oh! Go away with your 120 degrees... 120, 180... No, 360 degrees tracking! Jesus Christ! It's not so hard to say. Why, why, why do I go with 120? I think of this. Where does that 120 come from? <sighs> Alright, look over there, there's... An enhancement that we're going to grab. The Carnage, I think it is. And only we need to have the Bane, and then we are complete. War fills with hatred and generates chaos at an accelerated rate. So we can go into chaos form much quicker. And the Bane is precisely the same thing with Wrath. So. Almost level 3. Good, good, good. Okay, so... After this has become level 4, I will swap the weapon master into it. Actually, no, I won't. I think I will go with Carnage. And then put Bane in the Scythe, because I will know that I use the Scythe more than anything else. I like the, the Tremor Gauntlet for the Hulk Smash, but I, I favor the Scythe. It's something I just favor, but more. And moving up. Drop down and <gasps> yep. Something over there. Nope. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Jump. I think I'm pretty soon we have to use these, the, the the gun. I'm not sure. Let's keep the cross blade open. This one. What was the reason? What was the thing that we had to do over here? Wait. Hmm. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. to see what's over here. A soul's chest. I think I screwed myself over now. Yep. Hmm. What was the what was the whole thing, all the whole gimmick of this area? Let's see, can I go... Oh, I can go back over here. Good. Because I remember that's the best thing to do... Can I... Okay. Let's wait until he comes out again. And then fall again. When I want war, I want to jump, you bastard.
And then quickly, 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 quickly. There we go. I remember it. Clear as day, it seems. There we go. And there should be a lifestone shard right over here. There we go. And there should be a fulgrim right over there. Hello, Wolgrim. <sighs> yeah, I don't really know what to do. Only an yeah, Bane is the last thing that we need. For all the enhancements, then the legendaries are left. I think I want to go for the Wrath Shard, but maybe the High Impact Rounds first. For, of all these things, the only thing that I know that would be quite useful, since I don't oh, use the Shredder as much, the Bane can be slotted into a weapon, but I don't know yet. But the High Impact Rounds will augment the damage of what Mercy. And why would that be useful? Because in this section, Mercy is the weapon we will use to fight the Stitchin and the mini boss Ashworm. Yeah, this one. After we kill it, uh, we completely destroy it so we don't have to worry about it ever again. wasn't kidding about those worms. And the Stygian's supposed to be the mean one. Holy crap, I am not fond of going through a special section that involves the Stygian. Because you have to go between platforms and wait until the corresponding time to actually go to the next platform and end at the end. And then, <sighs> plain simple, there are four platforms you have to get across, and there's just, just enough time to walk through the sand before the statue approaches. would be able to get you. Yeah, I'm still not sure why the hell are you guys... There we go, thank you. Where the fuck... You guys don't make sense. What? What are you supposed to be? Oh, for a second I thought you were a watcher. Wait, hello, can you come up? It's pretty fun that this that, that the ashworm is actually following us. Wait, is he stuck down there? Where the fuck is he? I know you're down there. He's slowly getting upwards. Come on. How long does it take for one guy to get up? Jesus Christ. But yeah, I will keep this chaos form around as long as possible. I think when we get to the arena, I finally can use it. Yeah, yeah, Ashworm. We know. And I don't fucking care. 
Because I hate you. Why the fuck do you follow me around? Come on. Come on, Bucks. After we complete this area and defeat Stitcher, we're finally getting to the level where we can level up the scythe and the uh, tremor gauntlet as well. I will show you guys where it is. Yeah. I I hate it. I hate it so much. Stop stop following us. There's nothing to benefit you. We need to get up here and lower this. If I'm correct, then in the on the fourth fourth tower of these towers there should be one of the consumables that we have to grab making our total to five yeah, and there's also something that I might think about is actually instead of buying high impact rounds actually going with uh, what's it called uh, the greater life essence if I have 6000 because of the upcoming things that we will have to face This is just... I, I hate this time-based section. This is just so scary to walk through that. And then, if you run out of time, then you're just screwed. Jesus Christ! Oh, fucking hell. Yet, he doesn't do it any time with us. <sighs> fucking hell. Jesus Christ, that scared the fuck out of me. And there we go. Stop it, you bastard. Ooh, I want a sip line. I've only, I think, th th up until now, done that in the very beginning of the game, the intro section. Can I go over here? That's really debatable because I don't want to fucking go into the sands. Over there we can go to the iron canopy, but we don't have the ability to get across it. But I don't want to go jump down into this stuff and then find out that I shouldn't actually. Well, let's see. In one of these towers, there should be in chest on the ground. Okay, so this thing goes down. Oh, yeah. Yep. Nope. 
just wait and try again. Don't be hasty, just be patient. Holy <laughs> crap! Oh, that was such a nice kill, to be honest. Ah. Let's go to over here. Is that a chest over here? Or is that a little bit later? Oh, hello! I think, yeah, those. They will die directly when they touch the ground. Hi. <laughs> oh. Luckily, they are not something like uh, Dark Souls that they would drop items that I have to get. I know there should be somewhere in chest. Where the hell is that thing? And bye. Wait, you? Wait, what? Okay, that's. So this is the ground that can be touched? Oh, yeah, we have to destroy that over there. What the fuck is that dude? I hear him growling. Hello! Nope! Nope, you're not going to get away from me. I don't want to get... Okay, so I can explode it. Okay, let's get the lever. Wait. We first have to get this up here because unless it's not allowed to actually shoot it. There we go. So, time to move on. Wait, where am I? Okay, I'm standing next to it. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Can I go up somewhere? 
I think here this I think this is uh, Yep, rage. There we go. So now we have five of them. Two raged filled. I will put that over there. Three to go. One is an iron canopy. One is in the scalding gallows towards uh, choking grounds. You know that I showed that the, the void portals. Those contain one. And let me think, where's the last one that we need to uh, find? And done. Uh, let's see, how far is... Uh, it, it will take a while before it's level 4, but... I think we will make it. Okay, so... Have to just jump down, or is there an easier way to get down? Nope. And uh, let's see. Almost, almost, almost. There we go. And now we go all the way to the top. There we go. We have to go and jump down there. Over there. Alright, if we have the, the chain, the iron chain in the, the iron canopy area, we can go over there and there should be another chest. Though I don't know what it contains. Life, life, wrath, or something else. Life, wrath, or an um, abyssal armor piece. One of the three could, could be. Okay, uh. Let's see, down there, there's another artifact that we can grab. Come on. Let's get down. Let's grab it. And now let's swim up. No, no, God, Jesus Christ, damn you, slaughterfish. There's another one. I heard you. Well, if you're not going to spawn yourself near me. Ah, this is not champion artifacts. The other drill that we didn't uh, move up. Yeah, uh, it contains the artifact. The champion one. We'll come for it, come, come back for it later because we need the iron chain for it. Okay, I think we are going to go through this section first, and then end the episode. Oh. An object. Uh, let's see. Over here, there's something that we have to grab as well. So let's grab it. And lifestone shard. And behind it, we again need the chain. But there is a legendary enhancement that we can grab if we come back for it later. We. One more. I think if I think there might be one more in this, in this whole arena. That makes that we have one more heart, one more life bar. Six. No, not six, seven. Was the one that we already have. Alright, let's open this. Can I 
can get behind it. Yes. Punch. Move me up. And Hulk smash. Nope, I want to just come up. Come over here. And there are some bombs. Uh, let's see. Ah, over there we need them. Let's throw a bump over. <laughs> that is so, so funny to see. And explode. There he is. There he is. Yep, come over here. Come on! You wanted to fight me! And give me a fight! Come on! Uh... One down, two down, three down, and four down. There we go, let's go. Oh, come on, war. That's an easy latch you could grab. There we go. See, you could do it. Oh, hello! And there's some more. Come on! I slaughter you all, slaughter fish. Oh, we're over here. Ah, this part. For the people who don't know, there's one achievement that can be pretty tedious to do, and that is get 150 or 160 kills on horseback. After you clear this whole Ashlands area and obtain Druum, you can come back to this specific point, come over here, drop down into this pit, walk back up, and there will be two horsemen spawning. And you can do that every time. Every time there will be two new horsemen that, that spawn. So it's an easy way to get actually all the, the the horsemen you need. Though it can be quite laggy if you do so. But it's the easiest way to get the achievement. But I think I'm going to end the episode right here. Like, I, like always, hope you enjoyed the episode. And don't forget to get your game on. Hulk Smash! <laughs>